So, despite the fact that in veterinary medicine and human medicine, we have a pill for every ill and a diet for every disease, we are still seeing the highest rates of cancer in our pets of any mammal on the planet. Five years ago, they said the statistics for dogs getting cancer is one out of 1.65 and cats were one out of three. I will tell you that is highly underreported. And then if we include obesity, autoimmune disease, arthritis, allergies, and gastrointestinal disease, we're seeing nearly 100% of our animals having some form of chronic disease under the age of two. More striking than that is the fact that our pets are living seven years shorter than they did 20 years ago. Anybody take a guess, don't read the slide. How old should pets live to? Take a while, guess. Somebody? 20s, 30s. 10, 15, we're hardly seeing our cats make it past 15. World Guinness Book of Records is Cream Puff. Cream Puff lived to be 38 years and three days. She is not an enigma that should be well into the numbers that we see for our average pets. She was owned by a plumber in Texas. He had another cat that lived to be 34. Now even though he fed processed foods, his key to longevity was that he fed some natural foods. They were hunters and he gave them lots and lots of love. This is Maggie. She's the world record holder and she lived to be 30. Her longevity was attributed to the fact that she worked on a dairy farm, so she had placentas and raw milk every day of her life. She had high intensity exercise and she did intermittent fasting on her own. Are those not the key principles that we need in our life as well? This is Echo, he is a feral cat. He is 20 years old. I know his age because he is my cat and I want you to see Look at his face and look at the coat. There's no muscle wasting, there's no deterioration, his eyes are still bright, and he's been a raw eater for the last 10 years of his life. 